Anderson. He's got this one one. Ricky Williams in second place. Jamie Graham is there on the outside. The inside, Kenny Melvin. The 54 car running in fifth place, Graham Rafferty. Back then to Robbie Treneman. And then Johnny Castagna, the veteran driver in car number 49. But it's Kyle Sayer who leads in number 95 as they move out of turn number four and into the main straight. Back in second place, the 92 car being driven by Ricky Williams. Then in third place, the 22 of Jamie Graham. Robbie Williams has caught uh, Kyle Sayer as they move down the back straight. Bit of a surprise as we've got five and a half laps left to go. You love to be the chaser in this sort of retrospect. You always feel quicker when Kyle Sayer doesn't know the pace of the race. He's just trying to conserve as he's got a big weekend next weekend for the grand final of the IVIX Industry South West Sedan Championship. But he's got a college championship win today as they're all lined a stern behind Jamie Graham as Melvin makes a mistake. As Graham tries to pull out, so did, did Ricky Willey, oh, sorry, Robbie Treneman on John Castagna, the 49 running at the tail of the field, but all seven cars still running as Graham looks like he's got trouble with the 22 machine and he goes off the pace of Subway Collie car number 22. Yeah, well, he's lost part of the back uh, of the car. I think he also might have a flat tyre. He's gone to the back of the field. Robbie Treneman getting busy on the outside of the 54 at Graham Rafferty. That's for fourth place, but our race leader is Kyle Sayer in number 95. So move down the main straight, then back then to the 92 in second place, which is uh, Ricky Williams, Melvin, then Rafferty, then the 26 of Treneman and 54, uh, sorry, the 49 of uh, Johnny Castagna. It's not a flat tyre on Jamie Graham's car, so I'm not sure what the problem is, but it's a race in two out in front with a couple of laps left to go. And yeah, four cars still could take that last spot on the podium. As Melvin and uh, the Rafferty still run, running the identical bonnets, I mean bumpers I should say, the front bumper's still the same maroon colour as him. The, those two, then Treneman and John Castagna are all fighting enough as Jamie Graham tails by himself. But he's been able to catch him, but not able to get anywhere close to getting past the 95 as that actually sounds like it's running quite lean as well. So drama's for Sayer and he had some troubles last weekend as well as so the one lap flag is out. Yes, he's loitering, he's lingering and here comes the 92 car. Can he get past Kyle Sayer on this last lap? They come out of Palmer's corner. Sayer's a cagey old campaigner even though he's not all that old. He wins. Hangs on. Back then in second is the 92 car. Ricky Williams has a go. Melvin, Rafferty, Treneman across the line together with Castagna and then Jamie Graham. Certainly the 95 car not running all that flash in the concluding stages but hangs on. 95 the, the winner from 92 in second place and up for third place was Kenny Melvin and uh, Ken Melvin in car number, what's he running these days, 89 was in third. Heat number two coming up next.